Okay, so we want to close it at this point. But if you feel you have a very burning issue, just one burning issue. Yeah, this is a copy by, if you can have the camera, this is done by FOL. If you show this to a young people, a young person, a young woman like me, and say go into agriculture, they're going to go into it. Definitely not. I told the world back the same thing. If you want to make agriculture attractive, if you want to make it sexy, start by publishing it. Get a young person who's attractive, put them on this picture. I said this in Harare last year to say, can we try to make agriculture sexy? This organization, the UN, the FOA, whoever is involved in the agriculture sector, the advertising, whoever you are, make agriculture sexy. This is the beginning point of making it attractive to the young people. Right. If you, the organizers, the frontiers, the people who are supposed to lead us are putting such pictures, what are you sending to a person, a young person from the village? You pick this picture, I'm like, oh, this is what we're living. But if they see a young person here, very attractive like me, and you put me here, <laughs> even the young men in the village, they'll be like, wow, I want to be like her. I mean, where am I going to find this woman? I, let me join agriculture. I mean, this is practical. That's what we need to be, to be talking about. So please, my request is that next time we're going to have such a conference, whatever is coming up, uh, you can look for me on Facebook, Tamara Happy Face Kaunda. Put my picture there and say she's a farmer. Uh. I, yeah, and a medical doctor, yeah? Right. Well, I, you, know, in, you know, most people, they like to see me. Oh, don't look at like, like, like she's farming. She's a doctor. No, I want to be called a farmer. Right. Because the problem we have in Africa is hunger. Mm -hmm. We don't need drugs. I work in a hospital, and I can guarantee you 80% of the diseases, why we're losing young people is because of poverty. So why then can't we give them the nutrition they need instead of the drugs? That's my switching from me medicine to agriculture. So that's the what we should be looking at. Another thing, uh, she's from Singapore, I'm from Zambia. The borrowing rate in Zambia is about 35% to 40%. You, you can say, yes, I don't have, you know, I don't want to go to the bank or whatever. No, I've tried going there, but why should I create, to make a, such a suicidal decision to go and borrow at a 40% rate? It's impossible. I want to go to the government to borrow. They say, no, you need to work for the government for two years. But I need the project running. I've got people following me. They need to come to the farm and see what I'm doing. So funding, we're not looking for charity. Like, I was quite offended by the doctor lady who said, no, uh, our family is not a charity. Yes, we're not looking for charity. Mm -hmm. But if you can give me uh, $10,000 at a rate of maybe 5%, 2%, like the Chinese come, they come with a lower percentage, and they come and invest here, and they beat us, I cannot compete with her even if she came to Zambia mm. because she borrowed maybe from Singapore at a lower rate. But look at me in Zambia, 40%, that's suicide. Right. So we can talk and talk and talk, but let's create an enabling environment for the African youth mm -hmm. because we can't have so much vast land, yet we are languishing in poverty. Netherlands cannot export to Africa if they don't have, if they don't feed their own people. Yes, I'm happy the young people are exporting, but why are we leaving our young, our people? Why are they dying? African graves are the richest because we've lost so many young people too to poverty and hunger. So we need to really critically look at agriculture as the oxygen for, the, for economical in Africa. It should not be a backbone. I can break my backbone today and I can live on. But if I don't have oxygen, I can't live on. Live. So agriculture should be the oxygen of the economy in Africa. Thank you. What a way to actually powerfully finish this conversation. One, make agriculture sexy in order to attract young people into it. And number two, start seeing agriculture as the oxygen of our economies and not just the backbone of our economies. From our teams right here, we want to say thank you for watching this CNBC Africa special. I'm Eugene Anangwe.